So once all the teams complete their bring up, now is the time to test the hardware with respect to specifications. So EVT or engineering validation test. So it is testing a sample of hardware prototype reserved for engineering teams. So why I'm saying it is reserved for engineering teams is because you still can't give this hardware to your customers. It's not yet ready. It is only called as a prototype or an EVT hardware because it is used for engineering validation by the engineering teams. So what do you do in this stage? So you have some predetermined test cases. So based on the specifications, you would have created some test cases which you want to test on this hardware. So you do the test, you run those test cases. Again, when I say test cases, it is not like one or two test cases. You have probably hundreds or thousands of test cases. So each of the subsystem uh, design team, subsystem team will come up with their own test cases and you do the test, they do the test, they gather the data. So at this point, the idea is to test the functionality of the system and not performance. Okay. So you are looking at functionality, whether this system is working or not, you have to look at that. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you have designed a system and at the system architecture stage, the system architect said that the maximum power consumption of this device has to be 10 watts, okay? 10 watts of power. So this is a phone, let's say a mobile phone or some embedded device, the maximum power it can cons consume in any, in any scenario, worst case scenario has to be 10 watts. It cannot exceed 10 watts. But let's say during your uh, testing, you observe that for some particular test case, it is taking 12 watts of power. That means two watts more. Now at this stage, uh, you know, it's a, it's a physical hardware. You can't do much. So what you do is you test it on multiple hardware. So I told you it's, you have, um, uh, multiple EVT devices, you test it on multiple, uh, EVT devices and you note down that data. Okay. You still don't know which subsystem is causing this issue, but you say that, okay, this is the data I have. I have tested on 10 devices, 10 EVT devices. And you know, all 10 EVT devices may be showing the issue or maybe let's say only five are showing or only two are showing. So you gather all that data at this stage. Okay. So in the EVT stage, you are building limited units. So you have to be very careful uh, because you are, uh, this is not a production ready hardware. So you build in small quantity and give it to various teams so that they can test their subsystem. Also, uh, at this stage, uh, you load the appropriate software into the system and you give the hardware to the software team because the software teams have to test their software now. So it could be, you know, OS uh, team, it could be drivers team, uh, it could be, you know, apps, somebody is building some app. So it depends on, you know, uh, what is the test they want to do. Somebody wants to test some algorithms, right? So this is the stage where they, they also start their testing on the EBT hardware and they also take a note of all the issues that they see. Now, if there are some issues observed in the EVT, so there are some follow on stages. So you build something called as EVT one or EVT two and so on. So, you, you know, you, you fix some hardware issues and try to ensure that you build a small quantity again to fix those hardware issues. See, it's important to remember that as much as possible, you want to avoid these stages. The reason is if you are going into EVT one, EVT two kind of stages, that means you are spending time and money to build the stages. That means something probably uh, was not done right during the earlier stages. Maybe, uh, you know, I messed up in the system architecture or probably I did not do a proper uh, schematic design or I did not do a proper layout design. Something was not correct. Okay. That's why probably there is, I'm seeing, seeing some issues and I have to go to the next stage. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below to get regular updates of video releases.